Today we have to tow cars, trucks, and trailers from a dangerous interstate accident, but the problem is it's the busiest day of the year and traffic is backed up for miles. If we don't clear the road as soon as possible, we risk a chain reaction accident. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on guys? I just received the craziest call from dispatch. They need me to bring out all of our trucks to a crazy accident that's on the highway right now. So let's head inside and see what we have. Uh oh, John, what's wrong with the truck? I'm really not sure it ain't starting. Oh no, we got a big accident on the highway. We need we need this thing. All right, um. Yeah, the, well, the, the wrecker's starting though behind me. Oh, we got the other. Okay, perfect. All right, take the twin steer. We'll work on the Kenworth later. The, the to... twin steer, I worked on it a bit. It wasn't sorry, but now it's just. Okay, perfect. Take that. Meet me up front. Um, let me see what else we have, but we're going to be heading to 219 westbound on Interstate 2. All right. All right, I'll, I'll meet you up front. Let's see okay, what else we have. Anything else is here today? Oh, perfect. We got an F550. We could definitely use that. Hey, what's up, Jason? Hey, what's going on, bus? Yeah, we just got a big wreck. I need you to get this car unloaded and follow me onto the highway. We're going to need everything that we got. Right on. Perfect. Okay, so that's two trucks. So let's see if we can find a third truck. We'll use the 389 flatbed. This should be perfect. But yeah, according to dispatch guys, there's semi trucks that are crashed. There's a trailer that crashed. There's multiple cars that crashed. So yeah, we pretty much just need just about everything. So we're going to start off with three trucks. We got my truck. We got the Ford and we have John. John's in the twin stair heavy wrecker. So that should be a good start. And then I guess if we need more trucks, I'll just assess the situation once we get on scene and I'll call for more trucks as necessary. All right, so John is ready to go. Here comes Jason. We got three trucks. Let's head out. Ace Towing is on the move. But like I was saying, guys, the accident is going to be on the freeway over there. So we just got to go around and hop on. So, Jay, how big is this accident? Uh, according to dispatch, this is going to be a big one. Well, I, I, was, I was waiting to take a good day, but I guess not today. Yeah, you know what it is? The day before Thanksgiving, all these people on the highway and everybody's rushing trying to get to wherever they're going. All right, guys, we are about to get on to Interstate 2. Yeah, we're going to so oh my God. Can you see it? Oh, look at that, guys. Look at this traffic. I'll just stop for a second. Let me find a way to get in. Yeah, what are we going to do here? Um, how about you go right and I'll go left and we'll just try to get down there. Yeah, that works. Yo, guys, this is crazy. Look how much traffic it is. All right, so I think we're going to need more than three trucks for this. But let's assess the situation. I see we have some state troopers on scene. I'm going to try to you think I should go further or should I wait here? But you can wait right there. Let me talk to a trooper and figure out what's going on. All right, let's hop out and uh oh. Looks like they're transporting another person. Hopefully they'll be OK. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you're late. My bad, man. I'm sorry about that. I was having some trouble getting enough people for this call. Got a trailer fell off the overpass there. Everybody's been treated. The last one's about to be transported right there. Okay. Uh, this highway's been shut down about an hour. We need to get this open ASAP. Okay. Uh, not a problem. Looks like we got a uh, we got a lot going on. Okay, I'll get it cleared as fast as I can, sir. All right, I appreciate it. No problem. Okay, so let's figure out what we got going on here guys I see two trails I see a truck yeah this is gonna take a lot of work okay all right guys we have a lot of work to do and what the heck is that that's a little questionable but anyway hey Jay hey what's up we might have more issues than we thought there's a rolled over car around here where over oh, okay I see you oh we got more vehicles crashing over here and they just don't know how to drive. If they see an accident, they don't pay attention, causing more accidents. All right, guys, so we have things on the ground we're going to have to pick up. We got a GMC on top of the plywood. Hey, uh, Benny, come in. Going for Benny. Hey, Benny, um, 
go to the shop. I need you to bring the fork loader. I need you to bring it to 219 on the highway. We need it. 219 Del Perro Freeway? 10 for it. 219 Del Perro Freeway. Get here as fast as you can. Come with that box. I'll be there in about four or five miles. All right, cool. 10 for All right, guys. So I'm going to use this flatbed. And what should we move? Uh, what do you want? The F550. Take the F550 and see if you can get this orange vehicle over here. Okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah, if he could get that with the 550, and then I could probably use my truck to get that black semi truck over there. So let me see if I can back up. And yeah, we do not have that much space to work. It's so crazy. Carefully trying to squeeze past. Okay. Oh, that was me to that right away. What you said? Oh, I said uh, I'm gonna move out the way. All right. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did it mean to jump up there? I want to fall. Okay, so let's put the bed down. And we're gonna grab a winch, attach it to the truck. Looks like this is a Kenworth. Is it disconnected? Yes, it is disconnected. Okay, perfect. So let's start winching it up. Nice and easy. Please don't fall. Oh, it's going the wrong way. It's sliding. No. Stop. Okay. Oh, nope, nope. That's not right. Okay, I got I got an idea. Hold on. There we go. Hey, Jay, uh, I can't seem to make the winch work for some reason. Uh, give me one second. I'll help you out. Benny's boss. Benny, come in. Hey, boss. Uh, I see the traffic. I'm not going to be able to get up any side. Do you want me to go on coming and come back around? Let me see. Where is he? Is that him all the way down there? I'm about a mile back, and I can't seem to get in on either way. You should be able to fit. We were able to fit in our tow trucks. If you can't fit, just do what you have to do to get here. All right, so let's get this Camaro up onto the bed. This thing has a good amount of damage. Dang, the front got tore up. Yep. Make sure you get those chains on, strap it down. There you go. Looks like you got it. There goes Benny. All right, Benny, uh, don't park under the trailer because I don't want it to fall on you. But yeah, over there should be good. All right, guys, we still have a lot of work to do. Take it Finish to the lot, it. drop it off, and try to get back here as soon as you can. All right. All right, guys, so John is heading out with that. I'm going to see if I can use this truck over here to connect to the trailer. All right, guys, I'm going to attempt to connect to this trailer with this truck. But now that I look at it, I don't think that's going to work. This thing can't extend enough. So there's another thing we can do. There's always a plan that we can do, guys. So instead of that, let's use the heavy wrecker to move the trailer out the way. And uh, let's see. We got the F550. We can probably use that to move the GMC. Hey, Salter, hop in the heavy wrecker and see if you can move this trailer. The heavy there? Yeah, the flatbed trailer. The one right there. Just dropped off the Camaro right now. I'm just coming back. 10 4. Come back as soon as you can. All right. Um, so he's going to connect to this trailer over here. In the meantime, I'm going to get this wheel or this fork loader unloaded. The Ouch! Oh. Yeah, it should be up. I think someone must have knocked them over. 10 for I'll fix it. Alright guys, let's get the arm up and let's put this thing to work. Now, we're gonna use this to move some of this wood and all the other stuff out of the road. So let's put this down and attach to it. You know what? I think it's not working because I'm on duty as a 5PD. So instead, we're going to let John do this. No, it's acting up. How about you run it for me? You able to attach them? Yeah, you can see if you could get attached to all of these and probably put them on the side of the road. Yeah, all right. Okay, perfect. So he'll be able to do that. And what I'll do is I'll let him stack them up and then maybe we'll load them later once we get it sorted out. Now, what else do we have to do, guys? All right, he has the first one. All right, so he has that. Whoa, whoa watch don't out. Don't too much in front of me, Jay. Yeah, I don't want to have to use my life insurance. Shit, you make me think. I need to get mine. Yeah, I have it, but I don't want to use it on this. All right, guys, so we are now in the twin steer, and I'm going to use this to hook up to this flatbed trailer, but we just kind of have to maneuver. 
around this crazy sea. Now, the idea is if I could get the arm to attach, I could lift the trailer up and then try to, like, maybe wiggle it around. If I back up, maybe. But I hope I don't jack up. Oh, jack uh, jackknifed it. Wasn't supposed to do that. But I think I can still get it. Yeah, this scene is so crazy, though. There's just so much going on everywhere you look. All right, let's see if I could get it one more time. Hey, AJ, want any help with that? I think I got it. Maybe I don't. Uh, let me try again. Let me try to use the forks if you want. I think I got it. I just got to get it lined up. I'm right there if you need to. There we go. All right. Don't ask how it just did that, but it did. That works. It is what it is. So let's see. I think I need to spin this around. Not much space here, but I'm going to try to cut all the way. Watch out for the rescue. Don't jackknife again. And I think I got it. We still got stuff on the other side of the highway we have to clear too, guys. There is so much to do. I think I want to put this on the shoulder. I'm behind you. Yeah, I see that. All right. Over here should be perfect and out of the way. And we could probably... I think here. all the planks of wood have been moved to the side of the road. Good job. All right, what else we have? You could probably hit that dumpster next. Yeah. All right, I'm going to see if I can lift this GMC up. And then maybe he could grab the plywood and move that out the way. All right, we got attached the GMC. See if you can move this plywood. I'm going to lift it up. But I'm going to try. If that works, that would be amazing. If it works, you guys have to smash the like button. But if it doesn't work, hit the like button anyway. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, somebody else just arrived back on scene with the 389. Uh, come on. It's probably not gonna grab it because the car is so it's close. It's not really letting me pick it up. I think because of the truck. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, I'm gonna just try to pull it off then. I think that should work. You guys think that's gonna work? Yeah, I'm gonna pull it and then you should be able to grab it. Nope, it's really stuck there. I think I got it. And it's almost clear. Cleared it. Perfect. So now he could grab it. There it goes. It was a truck. And I think I'm gonna use the maybe the F550 to tow the GMC. Alright guys, we only got 15 minutes. We gotta speed up our operation. We still have a lot of work to do. Just got an update from the troopers. Hey Salter, why don't you grab that GMC and see if you can get it on here? Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you. Uh, Jay, I might have some bad news. Uh, what? The pilot seems to have changed realm, you could say. What do you mean? They went through the floor. Oh my god. Uh, okay, it's, it's fine. Oh, that should be quite easy. Alright, so we're gonna put GMC on the big truck and then attach the big truck to that trailer and yeah, that should work out well. Got the dumpster, be careful behind me. Then for it, I ain't trying to get crushed. Um, so while they're working on that, I'm gonna hop back into the twin sphere and I think I wanna try to move this truck. We gotta move the truck and the trailer, but let's see if we can grab the truck first. Having a little bit of trouble connecting to it. If this doesn't work, I may have to grab it from the other side or use the big flatbed to pull it off. Yeah, this isn't working. All right, at least the GMC is loaded. All right, so what I'm going to do is, uh, you know what? I'm going to take this truck. What you need, boss. Yeah, I'm going to take this truck. Um, you take that and see if you can grab that yellow bucking belt trailer over there. All right, I'll give it a shot. Thank you. And you can just tow it back to the shop. I'm going to grab that trailer, which is being moved. I'll take the trailer. I was moving it away from the road just to, make, just to clear up the path. Yep, all good, thank you. Move on to the other side just to make sure there's nothing. All right, so we now have the GMC and the trailer out of the way. And I'm gonna try to just, oh, ouch. I'm gonna try to just back it up right here. And the main thing is to get the interstate clear. We can work on the shoulder later. So, uh, Jay, just quick question about the loader. E yeah, what's up? So Nathan got it, right? Yeah, he got it running pretty well. Yeah, it's running just as smooth. Like, it's brand new. Yeah, he did a, a good job on that. Congrats to him. Yeah, what's up? 
Do you have any chains by any chance? Yeah, I have some in the heavy wrecker and I also have some in the uh, heavy hauler, low boy. I might try to connect to the semi. If you slide the forks under it, you should be able to. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can pull it and lift it a bit. Yeah, give it a try. I think you can do it. If you just slide under there at the right angle. Let's see if this is gonna work. It works! Perfect. Let's back it up. Okay, we got another update from the troopers. We got 10 minutes. We are running out of time. Alright, uh, what else we gotta do? What else we gotta do? There, now it's yours. There's a rollover over there. Are you able? Are you guys able to turn it around? Another one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could get to it. Yeah. Yeah, give me a minute. We'll clear it. Guys, I just realized something. We need the big truck for the, for the Peterbilt. So, um... I'm gonna have to put the GMC onto the F550 over there, and then we'll put the semi truck onto this. So let's try to do this fast. We do not have a lot of time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Down, 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 down. I need somebody to grab the F550 for me. Um, 550? Yo, I'm barely, but I think, yeah. Yeah, let's see if it fits. Yep. Hopefully it fits on it. It's kind of wide, but hopefully it works out. Okay, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna get onto the other side of the highway. It does. That thing sounds so good. The owner doesn't want it anymore. I might, you know, ask for, um, take it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I don't have much space in the front, so I'm gonna hit it from the back. Oh, that didn't sound right. I'm gonna grab it from the back. Also. You guys know what I mean. I'm gonna hook up the truck. Stop overthinking this. Alright, let's put down the bin. Yeah, like I said, it barely fits, but fits enough. You get, you know our motto. <laughs> if it fits, it ships. Exactly, exactly. I'm just gonna put some chains on it, though. Well, not chains, ropes. Alright, got my winch attached. Let me pull this up. And, of course, it's going all over the place. Come on. Come on. Okay. I need you to go to the side. Oh, not that side. Not. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Oh boy. Uh oh. Wait, this may work. This may work. Watch this. Let you take your trailer first. There we go. Told you. Told you it would work, guys. Right. Are you in the Rock Star or in the semi truck? I'm in the 389 flatbed right now. All in the semi truck. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, I see you. Okay, so this side of the interstate is clear, but we still have that piece up top that may fall, so we gotta, yeah, that piece up there, we gotta get that out of there before it falls. And for that, I think I'm gonna need the heavy wrecker again. So what I'm gonna do is just set this up over here, connect to the trailer, and then this should be ready to go. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, good stuff, guys. We're looking good. The highway's almost clear. We just got a little bit more to do. We gotta get the trailer from up top now. Uh, we need that heavy wrecker ASAP. Where is it? So the pallets are on the side of the road, so... Pallets, thanks, on that. 10-4, yeah, everything is good here. We can load it up later. Here we go, guys. We're in the twin steer. Heavy wrecker. Hey, Jay, we're almost done. Almost, but I gotta get this trailer before we open the road. Alright, this is gonna be a little dangerous, but... I could get this to just reach out and extend and then just grab it. Okay, I understand. Come on. I gotta make sure I don't accidentally push it off, though. That would cause a huge mess, and then we would not be able to get the highway open. Come on, come on, come on. Up. Oh. oh, I got it, I got it! Let's go! I got the trailer. Alright, this car is gonna be I'm going to the way. right now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we only got three minutes, guys. The troopers want the interstate cleared in three minutes. Are we in a time limit? <laughs> yes, we're on a, a time limit. Get that loader off the highway as fast as possible. Hurry, hurry. All right, guys, we have like one minute. Let me get the F550 out of here. What else, what else, what else? Get that loader on the trailer. Hurry, hurry, we gotta go. We have to go. Remember, we could keep blocking this off-ramp, but we have to clear the interstate. Okay, we got two minutes. Two minutes left. All right, loader's ready. Then for get it out of here. All right, um, I'm going to grab this. Also got the heavy. I think we may be good, guys. Let's go, let's go. Hurry, 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 connect. He got it. 
Perfect. Get that off the highway, man. We have to go. Clear the highway. All right. Just go, just go, just go. All right, he's going that way. We're going this way. I think we are cleared in time, guys. We did it. Now our job is not done. We, we're gonna have to drop this off at the shop, then go back and pick up all the stuff we left on the shoulder. All right, guys, so now we're gonna head back to the shop and drop off the pita belt and the trailer. I was actually thinking to save space, what we should have done was to actually put the GMC onto the trailer and then I could have just towed everything back like that. And I would have saved the run with the F550. So next time, I'll be a little bit more mindful of that. But anyway, let's head to the shop, get this thing dropped off, and then we have a couple more things to take care of today. Whoa, watch out, bunnies! What are bunnies doing here in the middle of the city? But anyway, guys, we made it back to our shop. As you guys can see, Camaro and Ford are already there. Um, I need to get this truck unloaded and get the trailer unloaded. And then we got to get back to the scene because we actually didn't finish cleaning up the highway 100%. We got to go pick up all the stuff we left in the shoulder. So I'm going to get this stuff unloaded and then we're going to run back to the highway. All right, guys. So we switched out our truck and we are now carrying the fork loader back to the scene. And that's because we did leave all of the pallets of supplies and questionable stuff here on the highway. The troopers really just wanted us to clear the highway and let traffic come through, as you guys can see traffic is now flowing perfectly fine so we accomplish our main goal and our secondary goal now is just to finish cleaning up the scene so what I'm gonna do is park up here and let's release the trailer and we'll just park this truck up here now we are in the loader and we're gonna use this to just pick everything up and place it onto the trailer and the questionable stuff, uh, I believe the police or the state trooper is going to be taking it. So we're going to have to put that into the Silverado. Now, can we get through here without wrecking anything? I don't want to take out the light. It's going to be close. I'd rather hit my trailer than hit the cop. But it looks like we didn't hit anything. We're good. All right, guys. So now we're going to operate the fork loader. John did a great job earlier. So let's put this down. Let's slide under this first one. And we got it. And I'm just gonna throw it up here on the trailer. Now I'm gonna have to kind of turn it around, but I'll just sit it right there for now. Oh, let's get this weed out the way, guys. Questionable stuff. Innocent until proven guilty, but I'm pretty sure this is marijuana. Let me know what you guys think, but let's lift that up. And we're gonna go place that on the silver rhino and this thing is going to be so cool to have at the junkyard it's going to be awesome i'm so excited all right so let's carefully slide it in i think we're good let's lower it down and release all right so let's get the rest of the stuff onto this trailer now right, forks all the way down and slide under got it and lift and I'm gonna try to sit it right behind this other one. And I'll just come back to fix it, but I'll just sit it right there for now. Once we move this one out the way, we'll be able to have more space. All right, let's sit this here for one second, grab the other one, fix it, then put the one on the ground back up. And I'll just slide it as far as I can. Oh! <laughs> wow. Yeah, so um, let's not talk about what just happened. We're gonna just do that again and just, you know, place this down like nothing even happened. All right, got the second one on. I think I just knocked down the other plywood now. Oh my God, this has turned into a disaster. All right, we got this one, and we'll just place this on top of the other one. Slide it down, drop it, and we're good. Okay, so that is everything. Now it's nice and straight. So let's get the loader back onto the trailer, and let's get out of here. I mean, not fall into the alleyway again. And here we go, nice and easy. And I think we are good. 
forks down a bit and let's get it locked down turn off the engine not fall out please don't fall please don't fall please don't fall oh god Woo. Oh, I was so scared I thought I was about to take a tumble okay we're good so we'll put that up let me grab the truck let me get to the shop it's been a heck of a day guys it's the day before Thanksgiving we still got more work to do but let's get to the shop and try to just knock out the rest of our work and then wind down a little bit because it has been one heck of a day and speaking of Thanksgiving guys what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving spending time with the family traveling anything fun I'm kind of excited I'm gonna be heading to New York and I haven't been to New York in two and a half years I can't believe it almost yeah two and a half years or two years and a couple months but it's been a long time it's the longest I haven't been in New York obviously for those of you who don't know I did grow up there and lived there most of my life but um I'm excited to go back and see my family see my friends it should be a lot of fun spend the holidays with them all right, guys, we made it back to the shop. So I'm going to get everything unloaded and check on the status of the all of the vehicles that came in. The gates open. Don't close. Oh, it's always a race to get the equipment in before that thing cuts off. OK, guys, so we have another problem. Remember the trailer from earlier, the one that didn't fall off of the overpass? Well, it has a bunch of turkey dinners in it and apparently the Davis Mega Mart is like giving out free food and it was supposed to be like turkey dinners and Thanksgiving dinners and all that stuff like that. Well, um, yeah, apparently it's inside the truck and we need to get it to the Davis Mega Mart as soon as possible. So what I'm going to do here is use our wrecker since all of our other semi trucks are out. I mean, technically, I could use the heavy hauler too, but I mean, it'll probably be more fun with the wrecker anyway. So we're going to use this and connect to the trailer. And it looks like we got it. And as you guys can see, uh, all the other vehicles that we towed here are also here. So we got the trailer on the right. We got the Peterbilt. I think it's still smoking the GMC and the Camaro. I'm going to have to figure out if those are going to be total or if insurance is going to pay to fix them. But uh, anyway, uh, we need to get to the Davis Mega Mart, guys. So let's head out. I really wish that gate was automatic, but I kind of just have to push it for it to open. But that's OK. So let's head to Davis and get this thing dropped off. And I guess while we're talking about, you know, Thanksgiving dinner and food and all that stuff, what is your favorite meal to eat for Thanksgiving? Oh, man, I it's hard for me to pick. I just like to eat everything. I'm going to be honest, but like macaroni and cheese. Oh, uh, that's probably one of my favorites right there. Can't go wrong with that. Maybe even like a nice baked chicken or fried chicken. Oh, now I'm going to make myself get hungry. But yeah, let me know, guys. What are y'all favorite foods to eat on Thanksgiving? All right, guys, we have finally made it to Davis, pulling up on the Mega Mall now. And there are a lot of people here. Oh, my goodness. Did everybody in town come to this one store? I mean, they are giving away food, but wow, look at all these people here. They're cheering. Everybody's excited, ready for Thanksgiving. Let me watch out for this blue car. Let me also watch those cones. Uh, I got to be very careful because there's a lot of people here and I don't want to hit anybody. I don't want to hit anybody's cars. But look at all these people. Look how excited they are. Now, I would, you know, obviously take this to a loading dock, but they said they want it directly in front of the store. So let me see exactly where I'm going to put it. Oh, I think I see the manager. Here's the manager in the suit. OK, so he wants me to put it right over here. Not a problem. Look how many people are here. Even the police is here, guys. Is that the news? The news is here, too. This is a big event. Well, I'm happy that we were able to deliver this for all of these people here. This is the busiest I've ever seen the Mega Mark. This is crazy. Are we hitting anything? Now we're good. All right, so I'm going to try to drop the trailer. I don't want to block these cars in, but I mean, he wants it right here. So I'm just going to put it where he wants it. All right, there's good. All right, so let's drop it down and I'm going to release from it and perfect. 
All right, so that was a interesting drop off. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But more importantly, click right here to check out this abandoned construction loader that we found in the middle of the woods and we tried to fix it. Click here to watch and I'll see you over there.